All right, guys, do you have a new raised bed that you want to fill up with some of your old dirt and some of your new dirt like we've got there? Well, fear no more, you can do it and you can get all the rocks out of it just like that. And here's how. First thing you do is you get your wheelbarrow and you fill it up about halfway full of your new compost or dirt, okay? Second thing you do is you get you some rabbit wire or some hardware cloth as these two things are known by, and you bend one edge like this to fit under the lip of your wheelbarrow just like so or wool or however you want to say it. Uh, then on this side, see how this is rolled tight, okay? Well, that pinches tightly against there. Now, the next thing you do is, watch out, honey, let me get a scoop here. Okay. All right, next thing is you get your scoop of your dirt, like so, hard to do with one hand here, and lift it up here, dump it like so, all right, and then commence to raking it. And see, look at all the stuff you're gonna get out of there. Just keep on going like this right here. Across the grate. It does really well. You can see all those rocks being exposed and stuff, okay? So now that you got that done, it's got all the grass, the roots, and the rocks that you don't want in your, uh, your new raised bed. You got it all right there on your cloth. Dump it off. Like so. Now, when you are ready to mix your new dirt with your old dirt, okay, you simply take your drill with your auger bit on it and you mix it all up. All right, guys, there's a professional tip trick for you guys who want to use your new compost with your old soil and put it in your new raised bed. Or even if you don't have a raised bed, you just want to, you know, maybe get the rocks out, you know, uh, maybe you're making a new bed, period. Maybe it's not a raised bed, you're just making a new a new bed. And you kind of want to get all the rocks out of it. Screen it like this. You can even screen your compost if you're worried that your compost has got too much of rocks or chips or something that it shouldn't have. But in case it does, you can do that. Anyhow, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. And uh, you can always go over to our uh, YouTube channel on Heavenly Hills Homestead on YouTube. Guys, please, I'd like it if you subscribe to the channel. we got 400 and... 39 subscribers i believe it is trying to hit that 1000 mark before our year we hit a year in uh in uh may well end of end of this month yeah so end of this month we hit a year uh that we've been on youtube so guys going over check it out we got 400 and some videos like 418 419 videos check it out guys and uh, subscribe we do free monthly giveaways too so thanks guys